Hello friends and allies and welcome to the next video in the mini series Zero to Soul. Today we are visiting some other hunting areas which would be nice for low levels. The orc cults in Eedron is a rather chill place to be hunting, is a lot of charm points, even though they are rather slow, it's a lot of them. And you will also be looting items which you can use for imbues with axe fighting and uh, magic level enhancement. This hunting area is part of the cults of Tibia and the quest to enter the hunting area takes around 5 minutes and it's practically just what you need to have an orc shaman make you into a specific orc to enter the barrier. When it comes to this hunting spawn, it's enough to be on the lower two levels to be hunting here at my level range. And they can actually be hitting pretty hard, so be careful. And remember that it's the shaman which heals the other orcs. So focus the shaman in every pull to decrease the healing in every pull to increase the exp and profit which you can be making here. And this is uh, a spawn which you can be staying for a really long time to make the charm. If you were to finish the easiest one, it will take 3 hours to gain 25 charm points and 6 hours to gain 100 charm points. So it's a pretty long time you need to be here if you want to make the charm. And I were hitting 1.5 kk xp an hour on 150% with no prey or no charm. And it, I don't think it's really worth to have any praise or charm in here anyways because it's so many monsters and as you notice they are also running away so keep the Xeta on. For our next spawn we were going the traditional spawn of lava lurkers which is generally the spawn which you are going as a mage or as a paladin but I thought why not try it as an EK as well you know charm points as charm points and this is supposed to be good XP anyways. So we just slapped on some more fire protection and we were ready to go. And remember, these monsters are not weak to um, ice damage, which many people think, but they are not. So it's really good enough to have any kind of physical weapon here as an EK. And because the pulls are rather slow, you can just uh, use Exoramine as much as possible to deal the maximum amount of damage. But I also think that it's important to uh, always be trying to pull the monsters with you to increase the XP in here because you do not really want to have 3 or 4 pulls, you rather have 5, 6 to be able to increase the XP by a lot. But also remember that I'm in the lower level range as well so they can be hitting rather hard. So therefore we also put on a magma amulet when we are here. Looking at the hunt analyzer on 150% with no charm and no prey, we're hitting 2.7 kk xp an hour and it will, it will take a little bit more than 2 hours to make the charm here. And I also wanted to include the supply analyzer here to make an example or just to talk about it. I'm using Vampirism and Mana Leech on my Demon Wing Axe and not the traditional of um, uh, Mana Leech and Crit. The reason for this is rather simple. By having Vampirism on your axe, you're gaining 50% Vampirism and you will have longer hunts, but you will also have safer hunts. Because the Vampirism is really healing your HP up and your mana management becomes much better and it's easier to focusing on mana yourself and pulling out the damage. So, I will most likely be going for Vampirism and Mona Leech until I get to level 200 when I get an axe with free imbue slots. Then I will be including crit. When it comes to hunting this area, we will simply just be running in the traditional circle, which you will be doing as of any mage or RP. For the next spawn, I will be going were creatures in the traditional spawn where Feroxa spawns, which is north of Edron. And I really think I was way too low level to be hunting here. And 
I didn't think about the equipment very much as well, which I most likely should have when uh, I was way too level to be hunting here. So you can probably be noticing some mistakes with my equipment directly, but I also think it's that I rather show my mistakes and talk about them for you to be able to improve with me. So in this area they deal death damage, but also life drain. By knowing that we should probably have switched to a moon mirror or life drain protection and we also should have maybe been swapping to a crochet or even a um, necklace of the deep to be hunting here and these monsters are weak to fire so for an axe fighter like me the way to go around this would be to be waiting for level 180 because then we will get the phantasmal axe and increase in our power here by learning by our mistakes, we will in the future be preparing a little bit more when it comes to hunting new areas. Because I was way too low level to be hunting this area without the proper equipment. With the proper equipment and good skills, you can always go to a spawn in a lower level. For instance, I could be imbuing my armor with death protection or just having the crochet or moon mirror as I said. So by knowing the spawn you can hunt here at an earlier level. And with my level and the equipment I was way too low level. But if you equip properly any spawn becomes possible at a lower level range. And the skills help as well. Looking at the hunt analyzer at 150% we were making 1.7 kkxp an hour without any prey or charm. And I will not be going here until level 180 when I have my new axe. So it will most likely be decreased by a lot of time when I have changed equipment and axe. So I recommend a little bit higher level to be going here as an EK. And for this spawn, don't forget that uh, during the Feroxa spawn you will also be looting Moonlight Crystals here. And that's most likely what I will be doing, because next uh, Feroxa spawn I will have the Phantasmal Axe most likely. So a little bit more profit and safer and a better axe. For the last minute of this video, I'm just gonna talk about level recommendations and why I'm not recommending levels for certain spawns. It's so many different variables which could be affecting which level you can be going in a certain spawn. There are which skills you have, which equipment you have, which imbues you have. For instance, if you're going lava lurkers, let's say you're going there from 100 to 250, it will be a good idea to have um, fire imbue on your armor, for instance. Then you could be going there on a much lower level. And you can also be putting on defense praise or damage praise, because damage praise also make it safer by increasing your experience. And that's the reason why I'm not le making level recommendations, because let's say I'm level 300 and I'm putting on my full Falcon set. Or let's say I'm level 400 and I put on the new Abyss Axe and I say, you can go this spawn at this level. But then again, you don't have the same skills, you don't have the same equipment. Um, what I'm trying to do is always to be transparent by showing what equipment I'm wearing, which imbues I have, which skills I have. And by you guys knowing all the information, you can decide which level range you can be going here. Because you guys know your own character the best. I'm just showing the spawn a little bit and showing what XP I'm pulling with my equipment, skills and imbues. So, that was just a short information about why I'm not giving level uh, recommendations because I think you guys know the best or at least you know a little bit more than me about your own character so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video and if you haven't done it yet please follow and like the video happy hunting